Hey everyone, it's me Elle and today we'll be talking about the TCL 10 5G. Now, there are a lot of mid-range phones being released out there and buying a new phone is definitely a worthy investment. Not to mention with all the new tech and phones rolling out of the market, it is quite a tough competition out there for the TCL 10 5G. But hey, their box says it all. Display greatness, which is a good reminder of what this phone is really capable of. It's great display. So if you're looking for a device that has stunning display where you can watch your favorite shows and a phone that's 5G ready under the 20,000 pesos budget, then let's talk about the things you need to know before you get your hands on the TCL 10 5G. First of all, it's future proof. But hey, kung may 5G na tayo ngayon, pang future pa ba siya or pang ngayon? Anyways, since 5G is starting to become a norm with newly released phones, some of you may be planning to upgrade your current 4G only phones. Having a lot of options to choose from is always a good thing, but it's still better to know what kind of phone fits best for your need. And while the TCL 10 5G is… it's already in the name, 5G. Which means while you enjoy the amazing display that this phone offers, you can boost up your network to stream your favorite shows and browse content faster and hassle-free. Though it still depends if your area is covered with 5G network, but if not, at least you'll be prepared and this device has got you covered. For number two, we'll be going over the phone's main highlight its display. The TCL10 5G has a 6.53 inch full HD plus display and on a side note, this phone does have an IPS LCD panel but thanks to TCL's dedicated display engine called Next Vision, it can boost up the vibrancy, color, and it adds more punch to the display that works across gaming, videos, and regular viewing content. Now don't get me wrong. I still do love and appreciate AMOLED displays and I'm hoping to see it in, in terms of what TCL can do with it in the future. Overall, my viewing experience on this device was pretty great and I was really impressed with how deep and saturated the colors were and it didn't look washed out at all. Plus the contrast were on point and details were very sharp. I honestly took the time to appreciate the colors and how good the display looked visually. So if you're someone who likes watching Netflix or YouTube videos on the phone, then this is definitely a great pick for you. Now let's talk about the specs. For the specs, the TCL10 5G runs on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G processor and it is paired up with a 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. So far, I have no complaints when it comes to gaming and its overall performance. My gaming experience on this device was absolutely smooth and I was able to play on max settings on Call of Duty and Wild Rift. Now the Genshin gameplay went well, but you guys know that low settings is the way to go when it comes to that one. I still can't get over how rich the colors looked because of the Next Vision's display enhancements. On a side note, the device did warm up a bit after playing for hours, but it's nothing to be worried about. In terms of battery, the 4000 mAh battery is by no means the biggest, but it managed to last a full day of regular usage on mobile data but that easily gets extended to a day and a half when connected to a home network. Our loop test result showed that it lasted 18 hours and 32 minutes, which is pretty decent and it's more than enough for my regular phone usage. But then again, with its 18 watt charging, expect it to take some time or roughly around two hours for it to fully charge from it being absolutely drained. When it comes to cameras, the TCL10 5G is equipped with a good set of cameras. That includes a 64 megapixel main camera on the back, along with an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, a 5 megapixel macro, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. And it also packs a 16 megapixel selfie camera. Some of the results can be a hit or miss though, but some shots can be executed well that it actually ends up being a sharp 
well-balanced image that captures all the details. But there are also moments where the post-processing gets a little bit too much that it blurs out the small details of the photo. The super night mode shows more well-lit photos, but it does take a bit of effort to produce sharp and decent photos. The cameras on this phone were actually pretty decent, and the super night mode took me a while to get used to, and it does take a lot of effort to take a really good shot, because it does require you to keep a steady hand, and you'll have to wait for it to process the photo. So, it took me a while, but hey. It works. This smartphone is definitely a worthy pick since it's already a 5G enabled phone under 20,000 pesos. That itself is a pretty solid deal and it is definitely a great option if you're someone who treats their phone as an entertainment device for watching videos, everyday media consumption, and enjoying content visually. To cap everything together, the TCL10 5G is a 5G-enabled phone with an impressive display thanks to Next Vision's visual enhancements. It has a great spec sheet that can compete against other phones with the same price range. And lastly, it's a 5G smartphone under the 20,000 pesos budget, which I do think is a pretty solid deal, don't you think? But the competition in the market right now will be quite challenging since it is going up against more established brands in the Philippines. With all that's been said, the TCL10 5G will easily make it to our list of top 5 phones under the 20,000 pesos budget. So, magkano nga ba tong phone na to? The TCL10 5G is priced at 17,495 and is available via the TCL flagship store on Lazada. So, what do you guys think about this phone? Comment them down below and share your thoughts. And also, don't forget to check out unbox.ph for more awesome content. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe because at 250k subs, we'll be giving away a free phone. So that was another awesome gadget out of the box. This was me, Elle, and I'll see you guys next time.